Hi everyone, welcome you all. In the today's video, we are going to see how we can handle iframes in Cypress. So for that, I'm going to use uh, one application here. Let me open in the browser. So here in this application, we have uh, a frame, so which contains some text by default. And uh, if you want to provide some text inside this, we need to handle the frame. So we cannot directly interact with this frame and we cannot directly interact with these elements which are present inside this frame. So for that, what you can do is we will able to handle this in Cypress. Uh, we have different approaches up there. Now let's see what are those approaches one by one. So first thing, let me go to VS Code Editor and then let's create a new file I say frames.cy.js now here i'm writing a describe block describe and we don't need this constant you can just remove this so inside the describe i am specifying name of the suit i can say handling frames and then i'm writing one arrow function let us try to implement this and first approach so for the first approach, I'm writing one it block. And inside this, I say, I call it as approach one, approach one. And I'm creating one more arrow function. I'm trying to implement this. Okay, so what is the first approach to handle the iframe? First thing, uh, we need to get the iframe from this. So this is a element. If I inspect this element, and you can see here, this is a div tag and you can just go back. And this is the actual div which is representing the entire frame. And uh, inside this div tag, uh, you can see here, or you can just directly search Control F. I can say iframe. So you can just look at here. There is an iframe tag is available here. So this is actually iframe. This particular box is present inside this iframe. So this we need to first identify. And once we get an iframe, then we will be able to perform any operation. But we cannot directly enter into the iframe. So what we can do is we can just inspect this element. If I just go dig into this element, there is an option called document, right? So inside this document, uh, we have something called again HTML, right? So inside this HTML, then you can see header and then you can see body. And actually inside the body, this is the text which is there currently, right? So this is a actual here we need to pass the element. So where exactly this and all available inside the frame, okay? So we have we don't have direct command in Cypress to get the high frame, what will switch to the high frame and perform the action. For that, what we need to do is we need to uh, use certain methods which are available. And first we need to get this high frame and then we need to go to uh, this document and then we need to go to body and then we can get the element. This is step-by-step -step process which we have to do. So let's see how we can get it. So here to get this iframe first. So just use normal method cy.get here. First, uh, let's try to visit that application. So for that, I can say cy.visit. cy.visit and uh, specify the application URL. And this will launch our application and then once it is launcher application, now we need to get that iframe. So how to get the iframe is cy.get, just like a normal, uh, how we can get the element similar way. So cy.get and then specify the ID of the frame. So ID is directly available. So you can just specify the ID and this is the ID of the frame. And uh, inside this iframe, there are multiple things are there, right? So which contains a document and which uh, also this document actually wrapping this element. So we need to get that. So for that, once you get an element, we have to use something called dot its because this frame contains a one more block called document that we can access its. Here we need to say uh, zero because we have only one document under this frame. So we can say zero, then content document dot body. So this, op this particular option will dig into the document part. And then here we will, add one assertion like should be v dot visible v dot visible so we can verify that so once you get a frame here 
and we dig into the document and then the checking visible or not. And finally, we have to do something called wrap. CY dot wrap. So this will basically wrap the frame and return the frame. So the return frame we have to keep inside another variable. Let's create one more variable called iframe. And you can keep this variable declaration like let or you can use constant, whatever you can create. This is a JavaScript variable. So basically what exactly we are doing here is we are getting the frame and inside the frame, we have a document part. So we are also that actual element is present inside the doc, inside the document. So that is wrapped up into the document. So we need to get the frame, go to the document and check this is visible or not. And then wrap that element. So this will basically return the entire iframe in this variable. And once you get an iframe, so then we can perform any activity on this iframe. So for example, inside this iframe, and there is some default value which is already present. So when you first time open the iframe, there is a default value. So I want to clear this, and then I want to pass some value here. So for that, take this iframe, iframe element dot, you can directly call clear, clear method. And once it is clear, then we can type some value there. So I can say type. And here I can simply say welcome. So this is how we can pass the value in the iframe input. So this iframe we capture and then pass that value. Okay, so let's try to execute it. So let me open the terminal and npx Cypress open. So this command will open Cypress app and then I'm running it. So now go to the frames and click on the frames. Now it is started, execute, no test found. I think we can remove this part. Yeah, now we can just save it. And then you can see the execution. <laughs> now it is trying to launch that application. And then it is getting the iframe. Now we can see my assertion is also got passed and which is successfully enter the text. You can see here, clear type welcome. So it is successfully enter the text. Let me run one more time can just refresh here, it will run one more time. Now you can see there is a text which is typed in the frame. Now after uh, typing the frame, after text is typed in the frame, suppose I want to select and I want to bold it, okay? So then what you can do is after typing this value and how, how we can select the text. And if you're using Mac, you can say Command A. Or if you are working on Windows, you can say Control A, which will select the text. So apart from this text, I will also execute one command that I can keep in the curly brackets. Here I can say command plus A. If you are working on Windows, you have to say control CTRL plus A. That also should include along with this text. So then what happens? Once you provided this text, this command will automatically select the text. And after that, we need to click on the bold. So this button we have to click. Now, if you inspect this element, so let me inspect on another page. So if you inspect that element, bold element, you can find the attribute. So you can see this is the actual element. So you can see uh, this is a SVG element. Actually, if I just inspect this, nothing. And actually, if this span is present inside the button. So this is the actual element. And you can see area iPhone label equal to both. This is a attribute. Uh, along with the value which we have. So we can use this, copy this and go back. And now here I can directly get that element and that element is not inside the frame actually. So we can directly get the cy.get and specify attribute and value. So how we can specify attribute value in the CSS, we can keep inside the bracket and this should be single quotation and then close. This is a selector and then if you perform click action, then it will basically click on the bold button. So this is how we need to handle the frame. So first we need to get the frame and which is actually wrapped into this document. First we need to get the idea of the frame, go to the document and check visible or not, and then wrap it. Once it is wrapped, then we get the iframe and then clear the iframe, type something. And if you want to do any additional operation, you can select control A or command A, which will select the text and then press the control B. Right, so let's try to execute now. Go to the file and save. Now we can just see the execution here. So let me, yeah, now it is started execution. Now we can see the text is present and uh, selected. Now let me reload once again. 
Now you can just observe it is provided the text selected and also successfully click on the B, which is bold the text. So this is uh, one approach to handle the iframe. Okay. So there are two more approaches which we have. So now let us discuss what are those approaches. Suppose in this approach, we just launch our application, we get the iframe and then we perform the activity on the iframe. Suppose I have a multiple iframes. Sometimes you have multiple different pages and every page is having different type of iframe. So you need to write the same code for every test, right? Wherever the iframes are available, you need to copy this code and you can get that iframe and then you can perform the activity. So instead of doing that, in Cypress, we have an option called creating a custom command. So by using this particular piece of code, we can create our own command, which is basically called as a custom command. And that command we can use in every test. Okay, that is another, another approach. By using a custom command, we can do it. We can create our own commands in Cypress. So how we can create a, our own custom command? Very simple. Just we need to go to, uh, there is an option here in the support folder, we can say commands.js. In the commands.js, I have already created one customized command here. Okay, so let me remove this. Let me create my own command. Just to copy this piece of code, whatever you already created, because I want to use the same code for other iframes also, so that you can just copy this code and go to commands.js and paste it over here. Now, this particular code should re uh, return the iframe. Right, so we need to just slightly modify this to create our own custom command. So how to create our own custom command is by using Cypress model, we have to access something called commands. Inside this, we need to have one method called add. Okay, so here we need to specify the command name. So what is the command name we have to specify is suppose I will give one command name called get iframe. Okay, this is my command I'm giving. And this command we have to implement. So for that, I'm going to write one arrow function. One arrow function I'm going to implement. And this particular command will take one parameter. What is that iframe locator? So that iframe locator I'll receive it here. Because this command we will call from the actual test later. So this is a command name. And here we are passing iframe locator. Now inside this, we will directly uh, copy this. So this particular piece of code, you can directly copy inside this body. So cy.get, so here which I, which iframe we are getting, whatever locator we are passing here, right? So we are getting that, we are just using it here so that we will get the iframe and again go to documentation part and then visibility or check and then wrap it. And after wrapping it, it will return the iframe. So you can just remove this code. So now this we command, customize the command, we can reuse it in multiple tests. Wherever you want to handle the iframe, you can just call this get iframe method just by passing the iframe locator that will return your iframe. And then you can proceed with the rest of the operation. So this will be very, very useful. And this option is available in Cypress. We can create our own commands. Suppose if you are writing the script like this many times, instead of repeating the same for multiple times, you can just create our own command like this. And we can just call this command, get iframe is a command. And when you pass the locator inside this, this will return the iframe. And we need to also write one return statement here. So that return cy.get iframe. So this will return the iframe. Okay. Now let us save the file and now go back to actual file. Let me write another script for uh, by using custom uh, by using custom command. Okay. So let me copy this it block again and create one more block now approach to approach to is by using by using custom command by using custom command we can do it so i just want to exit only this one in the next one so i can say only dot only fine so now how we can modify this script so as soon as you can just remove this script for now simply i can launch our site as soon as you launch our site how to get an iframe so to get an iframe, we need to just use this command. We already created one custom command, right? So this same command we have to simply use. How to access this get iframe command? Simply you can say cy dot. How we can access all other commands? Similar way we can access cy dot get iframe. So this will automatically uh, get you the frame. So commands.js, we already saved it. 
Okay, we already saved it. So now go back to the frames.cs and here after launching the page, you can simply say cy dot uh, get iframe get iframe and instead you are just calling the command which is already created which is a custom command get iframe this is the name of the command okay cy dot get iframe and inside this we need to just pass the locator of iframe so earlier we got the locator of iframe right basically this is an id so that i can pass that's it so this will call custom command and that will return the iframe so once it is written the iframe, we can do the operation. So we can just, uh, instead of this, you can directly apply these two methods here. Here you can directly apply. So this is a custom command. We created our own command. And by passing this uh, locator for the iframe, this command will return our iframe and then clear it, type something and control command A, which will select the iframe. And after that, you can get the bold element and then you can perform click that will bold the text which is present inside the iframe. So this is simple way we can do it. And once you created your custom command, you can use it in your multiple scripts. Okay. So this is another approach. Just by creating custom command, we can call this command get item. This command name can be anything. This is a just a user defined command. And here we are looking, getting the locator of iframe and uh, it will automatically go to document, visible test and wrapping it. Then finally it will return the iframe. So that written iframe we are catching here. This is a written iframe and then clear it and type something. And then we click on the poll. So this is another way of handling the iframe. Now let us test this. Currently I'm running only second it block. First one I'm not running. So I can say only. Fine. So let's try to execute and see. And commands.js, we already created one command, right? So we can just save it once and go back and then file save. Now you can just go back and see the execution will happen. Approach two is successfully done. You can see my test is got passed. So let me rerun once again. You can just reload. And now my test is again running. Fine. So this is how. We can also handle the iframe by writing a custom command. And apart from these two, there is one more plugin is available, which is Cypress iframe plugin. That is a, another approach. By using Cypress iframe plugin, we can simply handle the iframe. And some default commands are available. We can just use those commands to get an iframe. So now let me show you another uh, type of approach. So let me just remove this only. Let me create another block. So now approach three and by using Cypress iframe plugin, Cypress iframe plugin. So this is something different and this is available in the newer versions of iCypress, um, but rest of two are older approaches. Now let us see how we can handle the iframe by using plugin. Okay, let me remove this from now. So I will execute only this block, I can say only. Fine. So to use this Cypress plugin, let us see the documentation part. When just if I go back to the Google and just type Cypress iframe. So it will navigate it to here. So you can see Cypress iframe and PM. So this is actually a plugin uh, which is available. Uh, by using this, we will able to handle iframe. But before that, we have to install this plugin, Cypress iframe plugin. We have to install by executing this command in the terminal npm install iphone d cypress iphone iframe so once you install this particular plugin we will get some additional commands like uh, frame loaded and then iframe and then we have enter so these commands by default uh, you will get once you install this particular plugin so let us try to install this plugin and then we will see how we can handle the iframe by using this particular plugin so let me copy this command and uh, you can just go to terminal so you can directly execute in this terminal or you can take another command prompt where I also you can execute so for now i'm just exiting my command window let's say control z just a second 
Okay, so I'm just trying to kill my terminal and it is exited. So I'm just clearing it. Now I can run this command here. Just paste this command. npm npm install iphone d cypress iphone iframe. So this is the command. So once you executed this command, this npm module will install cypress, I, uh, cypress iframe plugin. And once it is successfully installed, then we will try to use it. Yeah, so now it is successfully uh, installed. You can see added two packages and added one to two packages. Fine, so no zero vulnerabilities. Perfect, so now it is added. So once it is added, now we can start using this Cypress iframe plugin. So let me clear this window. Now how to use it? So before using the Cypress plugin, we already installed successfully. Now we need to import uh, one module from that. So what is that module we have to import? We can say import, uh, here we can specify that Cypress iPhone iframe, Cypress iPhone iframe. So this is a particular module we have to import. So to use this particular plugin, okay? Then we will able to use the commands which are coming from Cypress iframe mm -hmm. plugin. Now go to the it blog. So here we are going to handle the iframe by using Cypress iframe plugin. So now I launch my web page and here we have few simple commands by using them we will able to get it. Suppose I want to get the iframe. Simply you can use cy dot get iframe. That's it. C, uh, uh, cy dot not get iframe frame loaded. Get iframe is our custom command. So which we are used. So now we have only three commands. One is frame loaded then frame and visit. So these commands comes from the Cypress iframe plugin. Simply you can say cy dot frame uh, loaded. You can simply say frame loaded. So what this command will do is this particular command will load the frame. Okay. So in other words, we can say which will switch to the frame. But here we have to pass the locator of the frame. So what is the locator of the frame? This is the locator which we already captured. So I'm just passing it here. So this particular command will load the frame basically. And once it is loaded, we can work on this frame. So simple command, you can see semicolon. So this will load the frame basically. Okay, so this will load the frame. And once it is loaded, then we can directly interact with this frame. So how we can see by dot frame. So get the frame, so get the iframe. And again, we specify the iframe. So this will basically load the frame or switch to the frame. Once it is switched, then we can interact with this. So get cy dot get iframe and this is iframe. Once again, we have to specify the locator. So this command is basically loading the frame, but we are not interacting with that. So the same frame, we can interact by using another command. iframe, frame name, a dot, first clear the frame, whatever value is there in the frame, we can clear it and then type and some value here like this. Right, so this particular value, first existing value will be clear and then it will type another value. It's very, very simple and straightforward. So frame loaded is a command which will load the frame. And then we interacted with the frame, get the frame and clear and type something. Right, so let's try to execute this. Go to the file and save. And now we can just look at the execution. Okay, we already clear terminated our terminal. So let me run this command once again. npx cypress open. End to end testing start. So now my cypress app is open. So I'm just running the code frames. So approach three is executing by using cypress iframe plugin. Okay, now you can see it is successfully entered the value inside the iframe. But again, we have not selected and bold it, right? So let me just do it. Go to your script and uh, simply you can say after passing the value in the curly braces, you can pass the command CMD or if you are working on Windows, you have to use control CDRL CMD plus A, which will select the text. After that, I can bold it. So if you want to bold it again, the same command, get that uh, bold element and perform the click action. So this will select the bold and bold the text in, which is there in the uh, frame. So let me save it again and uh, see the execution. 
perfect now it is successfully provided the values selected and then bold it okay so this is another way of uh, handling the iframe so three different approaches in the first approach we have to write some piece of code you need to get the iframe and dig into the document and this is just a session even though which is don't have no problem and then wrap command so this will return the iframe which is wrapped into this document this is the one way once you get an iframe you can perform the operations on it and if you want to use this for multiple iframes then you can create one custom command and that command you can keep it in the commands.js and this is how we need to add a custom command cypress.commands.add we can create any number of commands like this so in the upcoming videos i will show you uh, how to create custom commands in Cypress. This is one of the very useful feature in Cypress. So wherever the command or wherever there are some statements which are repeating multiple times, you can create a simple one custom command and you can use that command in multiple tests or multiple scripts. So here I have created one custom command which will get you the iframe. So this is the name of the command that you have given. So you can give any name to this command and this particular command get item command get iframe command i'm using it here so this will give the frame clear and type it and then click on the bold okay and approach three uh, we just install that plugin cypress iframe plugin and which is provided some commands called frame loaded iframe and so on frame loaded command which will load the frame basically if whatever frame is available it is loaded once it is loaded we can shift to the iframe and then we can perform the operations on the iframe so these are the three different approaches which we can use to handle the iframe. Okay. Now let me run all the tests at once. Uh, what I can do is I can just remove this only so that all blocks will be successfully executed. Let me save and then go back to the execution. Now we can see all three got passed. All three approaches got passed. One first approach, second approach is by using custom command. Third approach is by using Cypress iframe plugin. Okay. So this is how we can handle the iframes in Cypress. So in the next video, we will see how we can handle with the different type of elements. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see in the next video.